Estimating duration is relatively simple type exercise. Probably what's more complicated is understanding the economic interpretation of uh, duration. Uh, duration here denoted by D represents the sensitivity of a change in the interest rate in terms of the impact on the bond price. So for a given change in an interest rate multiplied by the current bond price, we can estimate the change, the likely change in the bond if we know this measure of duration, um, D. So, and also there should be a negative relationship between the direction of the interest rate and the bond price. But purely the exercise of estimating a duration for a continuously compounded bond uh, is not complicated and we'll follow suit here from the previous example. So previously we had looked at this uh, bond detail where the coupon was 10% and the bond the face was 100, discount rate was 8% and we're discounting continuously and the bond is the coupon has been paid semi-annually so twice a year for three years that instance we follow in line with same method same estimation approach we had used for pricing the bond uh, can be used for duration except in addition to discounting each coupon at the relevant discount rate for the respective time period we take the time period and we multiply the time period by the present value of the coupon. And for one year, we multiply by 0 0.5. For six months, we multiply by 0 0.5. For one year, multiply by one. For 18 months, 1.5 years, we multiply the present value, the discounted coupon, by the respective time period, and so on. So if you like, this provides kind of a waiting how substantial is the payment coming towards the end and how relevant are the payments coming earlier in terms of the coupon. Once we have estimated that value, then we go on and we take the ratio of the bond price. So the bond price gets divided into the product, the sum product of the time periods times the discounted uh, coupons and the ratio then turns out to be um, the ratio here is uh, when worked out 2.67 so that technique is um, why do we use this te technique or why do we estimate duration because we we want to make a prediction about the effect of any given interest rate change in the bond price. So for instance, we can look at the following as another example. Um, a five-year bond with 11% continuously compounded. So it has a yield of 11%. It's continuous, pays a coupon of eight at the end of each year and has a face value 100. And we want to estimate the value of the bond price and the bond duration and then we follow that up by using the duration to calculate the effect on the bond price of a 0.2% decrease in its yield. Okay, so we had previously code for estimating the bond price. We'll have a look at, take a quick look at that now. Um, so go into Google server and we have here details relating to the bond price. When we estimated when we took the details of the bond so i'll just fix this so that both windows open here at once and what we have is the online compiler and the powerpoint notes so basically if we take the code here for estimating the the c plus plus code for estimating the bond price that's continuously compounded again the face value is 100 there's a discount rate or a coupon rate. Coupon on the bond is 10%. So let's just put in 10. We have the interest rate on the bond is 8% per annum, continuously compounded. So that's 8%, 0, 8. 
it's the coupon is being is a semi annual coupon okay so twice a year and it's for a three year period when we run this program when we run the code here for estimating the value of the bond we get 104.880 okay so the value here is captured okay what about duration well i have some other code for the duration but the way i estimate duration is a little bit different um and just to take note here um i don't apply the same formula as given here so what in fact i do is i calculate the value of two bonds so i take the parameter inputs for two bonds and we can take a face a coupon rate a discount rate um periodicity of coupon payment and maturity of the bond and then i work out the value of two bonds and there those bonds are identical except one bond has a slightly higher interest rate so bond two is associated with a tiny tiny increase in the interest rate i here put a value of zero 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 one that's arbitrary i could make that slightly smaller perhaps to get a more rigorous and correct result and i work out the value using the the two discount rates i follow the same steps like before i set up a loop i discount the coupons using the exponential which is a way of discounting uh, using continuous rates the bv1 and bv2 are like buckets that collect these um, discounted coupons then i take the face i discount it at the maturity and that gets added into the bucket so i have two bond prices but the latter the second bond price is discounted at a slightly higher interest rate so i have a lower bond price a higher bond price i take the difference this will be negative i divide that by the lower bond price and i multiply by the change in the um interest rates the different differential between the two rates which is small now where do i get this from it's just basically i reflect in this idea of before what the formula we had for understanding the relationship between the duration continuously compounded the duration associated with continuously compounding rates and the bond price so we know that a change in the bond price divided by the original bond price is equal to the duration multiplied by the change in the interest rate if we know what the change in the bond price is that's equivalent of the bv2 minus bv1 the bv1 is the higher interest rate it's also the original rate before we had tweaked or adjusted the interest rate and the delta y you can imagine if i took took this first relationship and i brought delta y over it would divide both sides and underneath the line here we would have d by delta y in other words the duration measure that we work out would be equal to bv2 the change in the bond price the change in the bond price divided by divided by bv1 bv1 times the change in the interest rate r negative r r and that that is the duration that we can obtain let's have a look, closer look at this then um the numbers we put in here are the same as the numbers we have had before in the first case so again the face value of 100 coupon rate of 10 percent discount rate now i have to change this to eight okay so that value adjusts to eight the it's a semi-annual bond so m is equal to two and it's for three years okay so let's run that and see what result we get and the value that comes back is this 2.67367 now we can try another example there's a few examples here and um, here are the same numbers again as before except the interest rate is six percent okay so let's just delete out that eight and change it to six zero six and run the estimation again i'm i'm hoping that the result is 2.68 and the value I get here is 2.68. We can try one more example. 
what if the interest rate is four percent okay so it's just a, a slight touch here up of from six to four we run again and the value that we get back 2.69 2.69 again relatively close um, and what do we have here 14 percent coupon so let's try that 14 percent coupon um one and i should have put in four so 14 percent the yield on the bond is 12 so delete delete one two and we have to put in a semicolon and again it's for two semi annual and it's for three years let's run and see do we get this 2.56 2.559 so that's equivalent to 2.56 and we have um we can do more examples one i'd like to try here is this actual example where we have the a five-year bond with a yield yield of 11 percent yield of 11 percent okay so it's a five-year bond it's a yield of 11 percent has a coupon rate of 0 0.8 so i'll put in 0 0.8 has the bond is discounted it's an annual coupon five year with a yield of 11 percent pays a coupon at the end of each year of pays a coupon of eight percent so we have that the 11 and just it's not no longer semi-annual it's actually annual so that changes to one and let's see can we run it's not for three years it's actually for five so it's a five-year bond delete the tree put in a five five-year bond run the result i get back should be this four two five four two five nine nine so if we obtain the the bond price so if we generate the present value of the bond get 86.80 then to calculate the duration rerun this estimation again just make one additional addition or tweak we multiply the discounted coupon by its respective time period so the twos is put here the let me discount at three years we multiply respectively by three by four by five okay now we can check that we have um we can check this bond price but initially just to get the ball rolling here we can observe that the duration actually is 4.25 let's go back for one moment look at the just let's verify this result here so again it's 100 we said that the coupon rate is equal to eight percent so we put in zero eight we said that the discount rate that the rate at which we discount is 11 one one the payment of the coupon is once a year so m is equal to one it's an annual coupon the coupon gets paid at the end of the year it's not for three years it's a five-year bond the result i should get when i run this is the 8680 and we just verify that so 8680 and that looks consistent there um second part of this question is what is the bond's duration use then that duration to calculate the effect of the effect on the bonds price of a zero two percent decrease on its yield so basically we want to take the duration and we want to verify what the impact is of a change in the interest rate if we reduce the interest rate by 0.2 of a percent okay so we can go to the next um, slide here and we can look at the how the duration is estimated we got 4.25 and then once we've obtained this d we use that d in this estimation here so we said that the original bond price if we want to generate the change in the bond price the original bond price was 86.80 the change in the interest rate is 0.2 of percent expressed as a decimal it's 0 0.002 and note that it's a reduction in the interest rate and then we have d which is negative and we worked out as bef before that the duration was the 4.25 or 4256 okay when we work this out we see that the if we take the product of these three numbers the negative by negative makes a positive at 74 cent and we predict that by duration that the a change a reduction in the interest rate will bring bring the bond price up to 8754